Greetings once again to you, my viewing public, which is not very large. <laughs> it doesn't bother me, of course. I do this because I enjoy it. And hopefully I get to entertain some people, that's what I'm here for. Anyway, enough of that. My name is Tipo Legend. This is uh, another part. We are going to go into Area 3 and let's play Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Alright, Kimberly defeated the Skeleton Man <laughs> in Area 1. It was Zack who thwarted the Rake-toting Man in Area 2. So we now have our pick of the litter of these three here. Jason, Billy, and Trini. The three primary colors, yellow, blue, and red. So who shall take on Area 3? Not Zack, but Trini. There you are. Trini the Yellow Ranger into Area 3 and oh dear. It's a sewer level. Those always are terrible levels historically, are they not? Why yes. And this is in fact the worst level of the game, but as far as sewer levels go, it is not outright terrible. It could be a lot worse. This could be a game like, uh, I don't know. One of the. Whatever the. Yeah. Bleh. <laughs> Dirty Harry for the NES. Yes. That had terrible sewer levels. <laughs> I had trouble thinking of one. I'm... Sometimes my brain likes to shut itself off. When I'm trying to think, <laughs> stop hitting me! Ouch! And once again, we're having a, a bad start. Oh, careful! Just go down already! Ow! Wow! Okay, we're punching these uh, computers in the water and mechanical spiders. At least I think they're mechanical. Well, because they explode into fire, I'm assuming they're mechanical. Ow! If it's Power Rangers, then either really giant mutant spiders or uh, mechanical robot spiders are in fact both plausible ideas in the Power Ranger universe. So, take that. Oh my goodness, that was a lot of slowdown. Ah! Run from the drills that come down from the ceiling. Thank goodness this is the only level where they appear, but they're pretty well one of the things that make this level the most frustrating and annoying. Because they don't go away. And they only stop where you stop. If you move away from them, they keep going and following you. So you can't just run away. You have to stop and then run away, which leaves you vulnerable to attacks. And also vulnerable to get hit with the freaking drill. <laughs> I nearly swore very badly there. Alright, come on, it's morphin' time. You'd think I'd played this game before. <laughs> ah, the only man, the only man, the only boss whose name I remember. He's called Eye Guy. The reason why I remember his name is because, well, <laughs> it's a terribly simple name. And I am an idiot. I only remember terribly simple things. Anything too complicated. <laughs> well, I was also very young when I watched this sh when this show was on. Unfortunately, as I got older, a series like uh, Power Rangers Turbo <laughs> and the terrible movie that came with it um, sort of turned me off of Power Rangers. I tried to uh, I tried to watch. In space, I really did. But I was so turned off by Turbo. It's a shame, really, because I've heard spa In Space was awesome. But anyway, enough of the Power Rangers rant. We'll just go into this game. Watch out for the blue fire pipe thing. I'm surprised I didn't get hit there. Stand up already. Oh, and by the way, I didn't mention those yellow putties uh, with the spike things. They're, they're like the most pointless enemies in the entire game because you don't have to kill them and you you really um, you can just move on without killing them 
And oh my god, the bridge is burning. The bridge is out! And now we're swimming. And... Ow! And there's the, the other annoying part of this level, is the... Ri rising and falling water. Uh, can really get irritating. Ah, get away. No, oh. And you can't attack them, and yet somehow they can walk on the bottom. Why can't I walk on the bottom and kick their ass? I don't know. You can only run on the bottom when the water's shallow enough, and they can attack you as many times as they want. That's the other thing that makes this level supremely annoying, as far as the levels in this game go. Anyway, here's wall jumping. Much wall jumping. Something I could never do when I was a little kid. Something I, I had a lot of trouble with. I don't know why. I could be really good at a game like Super Mario World, but I'd be terrible at this game. I don't know what the hell it was. And now, we have a complete reversal of that. I am now terrible at Super Mario World, and far better at this game. Go figure. Super Mario World, of course, was probably the first game I ever played. I don't know if I'll do a Let's Play of it, because it's a pretty common game on the YouTubiness. I don't know if this is, but I'm gonna play it anyway. Because while you... while it is probably a good idea, as someone who does these Let's Plays, while it is probably a good idea to do games that are not too overdone, you should probably stick with stuff that you know well. <laughs> Which might make uh, a game like A Tale of Two Kingdoms a poor choice, because I didn't know it that well. But it was pretty dang obscure. Because I only found one walkthrough of it, nobody had ever actually ever done a Let's Play of it, and I was the first one to do it. Somebody had uh, done a, a walkthrough and a list of the many ways you can die in that game, and oh yes, there are many ways you can die, I'm familiar with that. Whereas there's really only a few ways you can die here. You can die by taking enough damage, or by falling down a cliff and getting insta-kills. Or insta-deaths, rather. Not insta-kills. Just... would you go down? Oh my goodness. Ah! Yeah. I took care of him. Ah, more swimming, because that's the most enjoyable part of a Power Rangers game. You want to swim in a sewer, because... That's what the Power Rangers did, apparently. Swim in sewers. Watch out for those. Look out for the spinny blade things. <laughs> I don't know what anything is called, and I don't recall anything actually ever really being given a name, other than the bosses, and of course the enemies being called putties, and the playable characters. <sighs> Alright, wait for this to go down. Come on. Come on now. Come on. Chop chop. There we are. I got some health. Now the water level raises up again. Well, I think we're almost ready to face the boss. But we have to wait for the water to go back down one more time. Oof. Pardon me. I apologize for my burp. Aha! Boss time with the awesome boss music as we fight High Guy. Who shoots freaking laser beams from his eye and jumps on you and I will kill him oh jeez whoa crap oh there he goes again haha <laughs> that's the attack that does the most damage the one where he jumps up in the air and tries to flatten you and he also does that where his eyes will come off and hit you like that and then he shoots you with a laser like that Ow, how did I get hit with that? Baloney, I say. Shenanigans. We've been speckledorfed. That's not even a word and I agree with you. <laughs> ah. Alright, enough quoting children's cartoons that I would still watch. Well, not, not many of the new ones. Like, basically the old days of Spongebob. Guys, those were the classic funny days. Huh. 
That was the one where they pretended, uh, or they pretended, they thought they killed the health inspector. Ah, yeah. I have killed the floating eye, the second stage of Eye Guy, and that is it. Area 3 is now complete. You notice each area keeps getting progressively longer. Oof. It's quiet whenever the music stops. Anyway. This. We will see you. We. As in I. We'll see you later.